what should we film for our family channel? Um, how about the say yes for 24 hours challenge? And what exactly is that? Basically, you just have to say yes to every single question I ask you in the next 24 hours. Okay, that could be a pretty entertaining video. Are you ready? Yup, in three, two, one. What's going on guys? It's the Davidson family and in today's video, we're doing the say yes challenge. Luke, what's your first question? Can you buy me a Lamborghini? Um, you can't say no, I, I, I guess not. Um, yeah, let's go. What's with all the yelling in here? I'm trying to find a song that's been stuck in my head all day and I searched up literally everything but I can't find it. How does the song go? It goes like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that one. You have? Do you know the name or who, who sings it? Unfortunately, I don't. What'd you search up? Here's what I searched. Okay class, now I want you guys to discuss your answer with the person beside you. So, uh, wh what'd you get? Do you even know how to do this question? No. Me neither. Honey, are you almost ready to go? We're gonna be late for our dinner reservation. Almost, I just need to put on some makeup. You don't need makeup. Aww, that's so nice of you to say. You need plastic surgery. Now before we move on, does anyone have any questions about anything we just went over? Yeah, I do. Can you just go over that final step one more time, please? Oh my gosh, were you not just listening? That's literally the last thing I went over. How do you have a question about that and nothing else? Don't mind me, just pretend like I'm not here. I just want to listen in for a little bit. Oh, yeah, of course. So, uh, as, as I was saying, yeah, I could definitely go over that one more time for you. So. Hey, Mom, can I? No. I was just asking if I could. No. Hear me out, Mom. I just want. No. <sighs> no. Fine. Hey, didn't I ask you to clean the house today? Well, I tried asking you if you wanted me to clean the dishes, but you said no. Then I tried asking if you wanted me to back in the house, but you said no again. I even considered doing your laundry, but you just kept saying no. Oh. Can I please? Yes. Yes, you can. Okay, thanks. I'm going out with my friends. I'll be back at 1 a.m. Ugh, oh, what a mess. <laughs> Come on, what's taking her so long? That's it, I give up. Perfect. Oh, hey Luke. <laughs> Honey, I have to ask you something really important. Who do you love more, me or your father? I love you both equally. Okay, well if I went to Italy and your father went to Japan, where would you go? Mm, Japan. See? I knew it. You love your dad more than me. No, I just always wanted to go to Japan. Oh, okay. Well, if I went to Japan and your father went to Italy, where would you go? I'd go to Italy. See? You do love your dad more than me. 
No, it's just I would go to Italy because I would have already been to Japan. I'm afraid you only have two weeks to live. What? No, that can't be true. Everyone get on the ground! This is a robbery! Now give me all your money! Okay, okay! Here! Just please don't hurt me! Don't move! You're under arrest for armed robbery! I hereby sentence you to 20 years in prison. Yes! What is your biggest fear? I'm terrified of heights. I avoid all tall buildings and even libraries. Why libraries? Because they have the most stories. No diving! Luke? Oh, yeah, that's me. Why making fun of this guy can get you life in prison. In Thailand, you can go to jail for 3 to 15 years if you defame, insult, threaten, or criticize the king of Thailand, his wife, and close relatives because it's illegal. The 3 to 15 years will be for each insult the person makes. Here are some examples. In 2007, a Swiss man got drunk in Thailand and spray painted portraits of the king for fun. He was arrested and sentenced to 10 years in prison. In 2008, an Australian wrote a book about the scandalous romances of the Thai royal court. I was arrested when they arrived at the Bangkok airport during a trip to the country. Sentenced to 3 years in prison. In 2009, a Thai woman was arrested and sentenced to 15 years in prison after giving a speech where she mentioned the royal court and they found it offensive. Finally, in 2017, a 34 year old man created 10 Facebook posts that were insulting to the royal family and he was sentenced to 70 years in prison, giving him 7 years for each post. People who got stuck in the strangest places. Jamie Bracken Murphy was a young Irish boy who got stuck in a stuffed animal vending machine. He wanted to grab one of the toys so he went in the machine but couldn't get out. Thankfully, it was easy for them to get him out and he was only in there for a couple minutes. A man named Cato Larson got stuck in a toilet while trying to get his friend's phone out. He didn't just reach his hand in, he went all the way in the toilet and he couldn't get out. He couldn't find his phone either to call for help. He stayed there for an hour until he was freed by firefighters, who had to break the toilet to get him out. Finally, a woman named Rosie decided to get into a washing machine for a TikTok, but her legs got stuck so she had to call someone for help to get her out. She tried calling her friends first, but they couldn't, so she ended up having to get help from the fire department. The homeless teen who invented Disney. From an early age, Walter Disney showed interest in drawing, and in 1919, he got a job as an apprentice at a commercial art studio. While he was there, he met a friend and together they opened a drawing business called Disney Eyeworks. But unfortunately, they didn't get any customers. So he decided to start a new business called Laughogram Films, but again, had no luck. Because of this, he became homeless and with only $40 in his pocket, he moved to Hollywood. Universal Pictures hired him to create an animated series called Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. The character was a hit, but Universal kept the rights to the rabbit, leaving Walt out of the picture. A little while later, he created a short film with the financial help of Pat Powers. In that film, he included a character that would become one of the most famous cartoons in the world, Mickey Mouse. But eventually, Powers stopped financing it and Walt went into depression. But soon after, Joseph Schenck encouraged him to animate with color, which resulted in the film Snow White released in 1937. Today, Walt Disney Studios is one of the most successful companies in the world, with an estimated value of $130 billion. 